125 acres torched there, including the town of Paradise, which is in ruin. Absolutely heartbreaking uh, to drive through Paradise and see the level of, of destruction. We had no reason uh, to change our life, to do anything different, until one day we woke up and everything was changed. The town that we knew was completely gone. Our house burned down, our church burned down, 18,000 structures, just everything was, was gone. We you know, were blessed enough to buy a new house and, and kind of have a fresh start. My dad was in law enforcement for 20 or 30 years, and so a part of me always wanted to have like that, that stable job um, where the schedule is always the same. You know what your finances are gonna be. So I tried out, started working as a deputy in the jail, get a little bit of experience, and then maybe test for patrol and, and try to get out on the road. I started to you know, pack on some weight, you know, eating some burritos at two in the morning, just doing whatever I could to stay awake. You know, it started to take a toll on my body. I've done keto in the past. I've done so many different diets, and I would just bounce back to my original weight and was never able to sustain it. Uh, but I found this thing that like a lot of bodybuilders were doing. And at the time, they were talking about just being in a calorie deficit, and just focusing on two things, eating high protein and low calorie meals. But I saw them eating like cheeseburgers and eating pasta. This is how these guys are staying lean. Like I can definitely do this. And when I got down, you know, even 60 pounds and my self-esteem went way up, I feel like I'm 25 again. And honestly, I'm in better shape now than when I was 25. Um, so I feel great, I feel confident, and I'm excited to be on camera because I know on the other side of it is somebody like me who was in the same position I was, you know, two years ago, thinking that, man, I can't lose weight, I can't get better, I can't get healthy, and me telling them, like, straight up, yes, you can. Like, I'm the mediocre dad who did it, then if I was able to get this thing done, then you totally can as well. At the time, I, you know, during the pandemic, I used TikTok just to post just random videos. I only had a few followers, and I thought, you know, why not just post my transformation video, make a quick little, you know, 10 second of here I was, and here's where I am, and here's how I did it. Posted a couple, you know, pictures and video of, uh, of the burgers I made, and that was like my first, like, viral video uh, when it came to like weight loss and eating. I just started posting this stuff and people started commenting, hey, you should make a recipe ebook. You should, you should, you know, make a book where we can have everything compiled. And took their word for it, went on Canva, built a book, put out 10 recipes. And I remember sitting at work one day and I sold more in cookbook revenue than I made that day at work. I thought, dude, there, there might be something here. And I remember having a FaceTime call with um, the leaders of Koji. They're the platform that hosted my cookbook when I first got started. And I talked with their CEO and they said, they said, Kyle, what are your goals? I said, if I could just match what I'm making uh, with my cookbook and doing content creation, then that's my goal in life. Like to be able to just match what I'm making at the sheriff's department with my cookbook. I remember him telling me like, Kyle, you can do three times that. Like you can do four times that. Like I, I believe in you, you can. I got off that FaceTime call and I told my wife what this guy said and she just said, go for it. And I just felt like after the fire, it's like, man, we could have lost our lives. Why live out my life with a job that I think is super honorable but isn't fitting for myself. I've been given the second chance at life. Why not do something crazy with it? And really, I feel like what I've bought is, with taking that risk, is my freedom. I have my freedom. I do it because I love it. I do it because it's helping people. I feel like that's why I exist now, is just to help others, you know, bless my family, and um, to keep growing, and keep connecting. When I wear something that matches my personality, um, and it makes me feel good, um, it makes me feel positive, it makes me feel, um, like I really am who I am. Being able to put something on that really represents my personality um, just helps me to man, feel like I'm comfortable behind the camera, I'm comfortable when I'm making my cooking videos. And it's a way for people like on the outside that don't watch my content just to know what kind of person I am when I walk into a room. Like automatically, like that guy is gonna be um, loud, boisterous, fun, outgoing, um, and positive. And that's really what I try to put into the world. When you lose everything, you realize it's not about stuff. Life is about people. It's about um, who you have around you. That's the most valuable thing in your life is, is the, the ones that you love being close by.